All right, enough of that nonsense. Who wants that nonsense? We got to talk Star Trek. Happy St. Patrick's Day. For anybody that says anything about me wearing green, literally everything behind you is green. Hence why I'm superimposed. So I can't wear green. Or else I disappear like this Gordon mask. So before anybody says anything, there's a reason. I can't wear green. See? 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 They don't really... Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Let the chair host... The, the, the channel will get better views if we did that. So, today, Star Trek Fleet Command, St. Patty's Day. Hopefully, y'all are prepared for all the things. All the nonsensical amazingness. And, uh, yeah, we're here. Happy thing to you, too. How dare you call the holiday of the greatest saint of all time, better than Saint Nicholas, a thing? You are you are par you are just terrible. You are a terrible person. Hope y'all are having a fantastic Sunday, even with people like Mihai uh, in the chat. Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic Sunday. We're going to talk about the various things in the game, the uh, various decisions that you should be making in maybe the next week or so little bit of we'll see if the mid mat a uh, mid match the mid patch mid arc update actually rolls out i'm curious to see people's thoughts on it personally i have mostly positive thoughts about it mostly if it rolls out we'll see uh, there's a potential for that to get delayed so we'll uh, we'll see what happens on that front have not been told by the overlords if that's actually going to come through but if it does potentially good things in there and then obviously we have other issues to attend to like event store currency still feeling quite light we'll try to update y'all with anything that i get we'll uh, openly say here in the beginning that i have pushed for more event store currency to get added in in week three to make up for what has been a light month for most people free to player on pace to get around 300,000, which will be right around the lowest amount in the past two years i don't know if blue or jewels are in the chat, but they tend to have every spreadsheet that tracks everything. And I'm pretty sure one of them had a sheet that tracked that. But uh, short story is it's the lowest amount in about two years. Yeah. Did positive things start? I still say positive things now. Overall, it's a good month in my opinion. Everybody can grade the month however they want to. It's been a good month to me based on everything that's come in. But I generally judge months on themselves. Like, I try not to compare them to other months. I try to just say the merits of this own month. It's been a good month. But we shall wait and see, right? If you remember the last event store, they did the same thing. Now, they didn't do the ticket thing, right? And it seems to be the, the ticket change is something that they're looking into making a permanent thing based on wanting players to have more materials during a month. Deep, great to see you, by the way but still need more event store currency to make up for that. But that seems to be the basic logic. Allows more progression during event store months. That said, I do still want to see better returns in your actual event store currency numbers. And we'll see, you know, maybe they'll listen, maybe they'll adjust. But either way, feedback has been given. And if you remember, like I said before, the last event store, the third week was very heavy with the currency. So, We'll see if that's the case this time around. Steve says, I've been able to uh, one to two level 46 sound hostiles in my tier eight pylum and tried many crews. Uh, a tier eight pylum should be doing significantly more than that, Steven. Now, I can't say much more than that because I don't know what all you have, but I know I can get you know 20 plus of those and I'm only one tier higher than you. So it would really just depend on crews or maybe you have some research that isn't up. Uh, to where it should be. I, I just don't really know without seeing, but I'm more than happy to try to look at it for you. I've still been going through DMs throughout the week and through over the weekend to try to answer as much as I can. And Pegasus says, I would love more materials and resources during event store months. And that would be, you know, the, the current idea with the tickets is providing materials during event store month. Now, personally, I'm one of those people, I would like every event that exists, period, to be event store currency. All of it just because i feel like event stores are so important for the light spinners and free to play to catch up on things that they don't normally get and they do normally get uncommons rares etc materials but they don't normally get officers they don't normally get special ships 
but there, there's definitely going to be variance there and there's going to be varied opinions there and that's completely valid so all right hit that sapphire says i think the resource and the tickets is a, the greatest if it was a choice give us six ticket events so people can choose i promise you that would lead to many complaints <laughs> Imagine six ticket events and they only get to choose one. Uh, sentiment around that would be pretty poorly received. I think they need to find a way to give people both. So uh, we, we talked about several different ideas and they were receptive. Lube had a couple of good ideas. We had a chat about this just a few days ago about how live ops could improve you know, the, the style here and what they could do better. So we'll see what adjustments, if any, happen. We know they've added things to the event store. Three of the things that I requested have been added to the event store which i think is a huge positive it's um it's not everything and i want more to get added but three things have gotten added in i'm happy about that and we'll just see if we can get more and more changes to continue happening in star trek leak about it's a, it's a continual thing try to get them to change and add things in and ah it's been better uh lee says i've loved the past few months i've never been so uninterested in the game done the bare minimum has been all uh trail break and i'm really considering extending it yeah go for that lee um i don't know why you feel the need to say stuff like that but surely whatever man any chance they could just add slider bars to everything in the event store could they sure but honest answer probably not just because it's a lot of work we've been asking for that for a long time Pax. you've been around a long time you know they've been asking that um could they sure they, they could program buckets to have sliders and stuff but it's a lot of work and that's just going to be the response you get, whether it's, you know, a response that we think is appropriate or not, doesn't matter, but that's what you're going to get. What's your opinion? Do I, A, keep slowly adding export resources of favors, B, tear my NX, or C, burn everything on export favors? Um, what tier is your NX? I would definitely say focus on tearing up your NX01 as your primary focus. It just depends on what favors you're going for. Like my NX01 is currently tier two and it only takes uncommon x borg so at the moment i can use rares on other things at the moment i can use rares and epics on other options so this made me give it doesn't make me giggly i'll be honest i have gotten so annoyed with players telling me how unsatisfied they are that i've become pretty grumpy in that like i just wish that if players were that grumpy they would just go like, I love individual people, but it, it definitely doesn't make me giggle anymore. It's not funny. It's really just, I understand it even hurts my community to say that, but I am so sick of the negativity. I wish those people would just leave and go somewhere else. Go play another game. Enjoy another game. Just go. Please stop bringing in negativity. And if that makes me a bad content creator and people don't like hearing that, I will just accept it just because I've gotten so sick of it. All right, the resource uh, from NXO Picard skin is shocking. Will this change? What do you mean, Steven? What do you mean? What do you mean? Giga time, if I have to ban you from everything in existence, I will. Go away. You are not welcome here. Go away, Giga. All right, there we got that. It would not be bad if they would make an event store like War Bonds in later games. Uh, tag and progress at any speed you want kind of thing. Perhaps redo. I would like the ability to grind some officers. That's fair. I mean, you kind of can grind officers or transport pairs, but clearly that doesn't cover everything. Clearly that doesn't cover everything. So, yeah, I mean, I could definitely see where you're coming from with that. It would be nice to have actual in-game content, and that way you can actually have a completionist type play style instead of a constant ops up into an oblivion where there is nothing there but yeah yeah fabio i, I put out a ping in facebook that we went live i did uh, you might have notifications for my discord turned off but we did put up a ping in my discord make sure you don't have notifications turned off so Koba's making improvements that's all we can ask They've made incremental improvements. At the same time, they definitely have put out frustration. You know, game design putting out four loops in four months is going to lead to a lot of player frustration. But, you know, there, there's also been good, so we, we play the game. Take your advice and join the larger alliance. So much more of a community feeling and more options for growing. I'm happy to hear that for you, Joseph, that you're enjoying that. And uh, again, multiple play styles for everybody. Not everybody's going to want a big alliance, but 
there are definitely advantages to being in a big alliance. So, shout out to that. Shout out to that. We are happy for your happiness. Ooh, I could probably beat it with this. Obviously, that's screwed out for Zindi, but let's see how we do. So, notifications turned off for me. You ping at silly old clock time. That's understandable. That's understandable. I get it. And, and there's also just a lot of people in my Discord, right? There's 26,000 people in there. And if you didn't have, like, all the notifications muted, it would just be constantly blowing up your phone. So, I get that. I get that. Will PMC work versus wave hostiles? The early ones, yes, JC. Uh, will work versus the early hostiles. And then eventually, if you need to swap over to where you're just mostly hunting the little speedy traders that come through, obviously, it'll work on those. Anything would work on those. You could have Kingsner's captain against those, and that would work out fine. So, short answer, yes. Short answer, yes. With just 40 active Discord users, it is tough. But at the same time, I think... Even though my Discord is large, it provides way more value and fun. And we've also been working really hard. Shout out to Emily, who's been working really hard. But we've been working really hard on splitting everything up so that a lot of it gets locked behind roles. So you only see what you want to see. It's like, for example, you know, we've got War Thunder channels for our War Thunder players. We've got the Star Trek Fleet Command channels for people who do the Star Trek Fleet Command role. So we've been trying to segment it as well. That way, if you don't want something, you don't have to see everything. And uh, there's tremendous info for a lot of our games in there. We've been playing so much War Thunder that we have a whole squadron of War Thunder now. Server 92 here. Really enjoy your videos. Welcome in, Nate. Shout out to Server 92. Go invite your Server 92 mates here. Let's see if we can get Server 92, the most active server here in our stream today and bring all the questions they got we're here for questions i love questions i have to start playing war thunder looks fun i've been having a great time lost soul and everybody else has uh there's boats planes tanks and more importantly it's just us doing something together that i think people really enjoy so y'all feel free to uh, jump in if you want to again it's a free game for pc and console and when I say free, I mean like it's actually free, though I did spend $20 to make a squadron. So, love that you can't wear green because of your screen. Yeah, I thought about that, Joe, and I was like, people are probably going to give me grief about it. But like, literally, what can I do? Literally, I can't do anything. All right, I got to uh, go get my Q's trial bells. There we go. There's my there's my bells. Okay, get the bells in. All right, so let's go collect our away teams, which I forgot to finish yesterday. How many in the family? I'm uh, doing all right. I personally jacked up my knee yesterday, which really sucks. That's why I'm not standing and doing the treadmill. Uh, it's not wanting to bend very well right now. It's kind of swollen, but that's honestly, the, my, my knees have had that problem for a while, and I don't have the money to go get knee surgery. So I just, I let it, the swelling go down. It goes back into place or whatever that is called, and then I'm fine. So one of our players received a message from tech support about not having the cube in the event store. Well, that's not what game design said, or that's not what Live Ops said, Bubba Franks. I don't really have an answer um, for that. I'm just telling you what Live Ops told me, which is the message that I put out that to get the cube, you must not have gotten 75 shards in the previous event store. And that's just straight from the people who designed the event. I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't listen to customer support. I'm just saying that that's not what we were told. We were told by the person who designed the event. So somebody's wrong, and I don't know who it is. This is a top milestone uh, 359 for the Emerald Wonders IMS for 133. Wow, 133 has got a lot of players on it because that is a super high IMS. That is a very, very high IMS. Like, we talk about Server 20 having a, like a very nice population and ours is 275,000. Now, how close are you to finishing your IMS? Let me uh, click this button up here. Hit our Emerald Wonders. You can see my server is 40,000 points from finishing their IMS. My Alliance is 14,000. I'm sorry, 6,300 from finishing our uh, SMS. But this is based on the size of your server. 275 is a pretty healthy one. 
if you're in the 300,000s, you've got a lot of players on your server. Because server 20 has got over over 1,500 daily players. And it's a pretty big server. Hundred eight thousand left finishing on seven hundred two. Let's see, seven hundred two is really new, so I can see a newer server, especially maybe struggling to uh, to complete these milestones, especially with all the new players not even knowing how things work. So, you gave up on this event two weeks ago. Well, how'd you give up on this event two weeks ago when it wasn't running? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Who's this? Phoenix. The level 60. I see you. Hey, afternoon, Bo. It's good to see you. Happy Sunday to you as well, my friend. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Buzz, buzz. Oh my gosh. It's Facebook. Okay. For those who don't know, we do have a Facebook page y'all can send messages to. So, here, let me give this advice real quick. Save all event store currency until the end to see how much you have. Bam. That'll be my advice for basically everybody. The only time that swaps right now, there is a event store offer for the Enterprise E-Crew. If you do not have data, I would definitely go after data. If you don't have data, I would definitely go after data. But my general advice for the event store is, yeah, what I just said. Right, does this have a cooldown? I don't know, does it have a cooldown? I got two Riker shards. Does it have a cooldown? It does not. I'm just gonna pull and see. Troy and Riker shards, okay. I just wanna see what I would get. I wanted to see what I would get. I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna speed this up and send it right back out. 12k left on the IMS on 72. That seems doable. Now, here's a question for y'all. Are y'all's Discord servers trying to get everybody unified to complete these SMS? I mean, and to complete the IMSs. Are y'all working on that? Is that something that everybody is kind of like pushing for? Or is everybody semi-indifferent? Everybody kind of indifferent? I like free officer shards. And that's, I'll take, you know, that was the low pulls, but I'll take two Riker shards and two Troy shards. That's meh. What I really want, and I'm just being honest, what I really want is in the AMS. I'm just being honest with y'all. What I really want is in the AMS. For those who've seen my Discord, you know I'm already wearing it, but I want the Lucky Porthos avatar. That's what I want. I want the Lucky Porthos avatar. All I care about is Lucky Porthos avatar. Uh, there, there is no Lucky Porthos for the IMS. It's just more currency. I want the Lucky Porthos avatar. I'm just keeping it honest. That, that's that's what I want. That is actually one of my favorite things from this month. I know that might be completely inconsequential to 99% of the players out there. But for me, I freaking love Porthos. He's a cute little beagle. And I do want to have... You see, I'm using Porthos now with the Syndicate frame. Except now it's just going to be the other Porthos when I get him. I want my St. Patrick's Day Porthos. You want the Porthos portrait, but my alliance sucks at doing events. A zombie sounds like you need a new alliance. Not just because of this one thing, but if your alliance sucks at doing events, well, you're missing out on a lot of rewards, my friend. And you deserve rewards. You deserve all the rewards. So if your alliance is sucking at events, we got to get you in there got to get you into an alliance that actually is complete and stuff. You don't care about Porthos, not the tokens. I mean, I will take. I'm not going to complain about getting, you know, and I'm not. I'm not going to complain about getting something nice and free like a couple of officer shards. But what I really want is the avatar. And there was a day, and I remember it, when people in Star Trek Fleeky Man didn't care about frames and avatars at all. And now there is a growing, growing community amongst us who love collecting frames and avatars. 69,000 left on 133. Oh, that sounds doable, but that's that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. That's a lot. I mean, it's doable. In my last, we usually get the third milestone in AMSs. 
What uh, what size is your alliance, if you don't mind me asking? What size is your alliance? My alliance is 100 members, so it should definitely be easy. I mean, it would take a free-to-play alliance of 70 people to do the AMS. That's a pure free-to-play alliance. We need 70 people. So, depending on the size, it's going to be tough if you're in a smaller alliance. Ripper is to blame for popularity of frames and avatars. Yes, Ripper's Ripper's to blame, period. Yeah, if he is still awake, which he shouldn't be, we, we end up playing. For those that missed it last night, we um we played War Thunder, Raid Shadow Legends, Star Trek Fleet Command. No, no, no. War Thunder, Star Trek Fleet Command, and then Hell Divers with Ripper. Ripper was in the stream last night. DJ was in the stream last night. So if y'all don't come to the Twitch channel, you never know what's going to happen. We had everybody in the Twitch channel last night. We're playing various games and doing our Star Treks and having talks. It was a good time. So if you missed it, well, come on by for the next one. You never know what's going to happen. So. And I'm not sure how long Ripper stayed up, but Ripper was awake playing Helldivers after I went to bed. So, he streamed a little more hours. I bet he did. It's a fun game, that Helldivers game is. It just, I have to play with a group. Where Star Trek Fleet Command I love because I can do it by myself. Like, sure, there's Alliance events, but right now I'm grinding my with my, you know, own ships and everything. So, you flipped a coin for Battle Pass purchase and Scopely won. Wow. I'm sure Scopely is very appreciative of that. I'm sure they're very appreciative of that. Congratulations on giving Scopely money. Now everybody in chat hates you. I love you though. I'll always love you. Even when you make bad life choices. Had an alert at 524 this morning. The Ripper was streaming. Yeah, there you go, Nick. I, um, So he started playing with me last night at the end of my stream. And as I was raiding out, he went live. So... Yeah, if y'all uh, want to hang out Ripper, Helldivers content. Anything nice for mid-month patch? Potentially, yes. If they roll out what's planned, and I'll just be honest with y'all, because I can't tell y'all exactly what it is, but I will say this. Basically, it's an entire, like, arch worth of feature. And I know that sounds daunting. I like the feature. Keyword, hint word, consolidation. But they said there could be delays in actually rolling it out. Uh, they were doing more testing on it. Yes, believe it or not, they were doing more testing on it. So, we'll see. Half the Alliance seems to be bad at doing stuff for the AMS, and I don't know how often that half is online. Well, are you part of leadership? We could uh, always try to get them more active and encourage them and then try to help make them better. You know, we can always try to work. The best Alliance is... Or alliances that communicate together and work hard together. So, stability wouldn't be a nice feature. Uh, we actually just got the grades for last month uh, from when they did the. Y'all know that we do a survey every single month. Well, let me pull up the results real quick. My Drive Star Trek Fleet Command grade. And we just did patch 63, so we'll do patch 64 here in about a week. So not tomorrow, Monday, but next Monday. We'll do patch 64. But if you're curious about the grades, uh, stability actually had an improvement, which was nice. And that would be due to the unity jump. But yeah, stability saw its best grade, which relatively speaking, stability saw its best grade since june of 2023 thanks to the unity update uh it jumped up and got pretty high up there so now communications last month had the worst grade that honestly it's posted in a long time Pro honestly it was the worst communication grade ever i'll just call it what it is stability though was the best it's been since june and yeah that was month two it did not grade overall favorably so that's something like it didn't like overall the month did not get like a positive grade there were some pieces that were good bad but uh 
Yeah, stability was actually an improvement. So that's good for stability. Do you know after this arc, are we getting two weeks or one week? So typically how it works is if there are five Tuesdays in a month, then you'll have a two week break. If there are five Tuesdays in a month, you'll have a two week break. And Zach, I'll say communication for me is that between a B and A so far this month. Communication has been great this month. Shout out to Sierra and Hamster coming through and, and really working hard to provide that. So we'll see if that continues. But I mean, communication is definitely shot up to a positive. If, and I, I obviously I can't change what y'all grade things at, but communication has to be a positive for me this this month. Can't say everything else is a positive, but communication's definitely been the best it's ever been, in my opinion, since we started doing grading for the servers, like an official grading chart. I think it's going to be the best ever. So we'll see. As we come in, the main CM is a good thing. He is a good guy and a wonderful man. Communication. I agree, Nigel. I feel slightly bad that we're stealing him from the VIPs, but at the same time, he's been a really, really good CM for two years. But most players don't know who he is because he's been working with the VIP. But he's been very, very good for a long time. Most people have positive things to say about him. So we'll see how it works out. Be an A if they use the in-game news more. They're limited on how much they can use the in-game news, Zach. That's the only problem with in-game news. Like they, There is no way for them to do a one-to-one -one in game news to Discord post. Uh, just because of the, basically the rules of Google and Apple with languages and translations and how long it takes to submit those things and it actually is a process that takes multiple days so they're limited the amount of just like pure english things that they can throw into in-game news really quickly like th that's a thing so with that in mind i do give a slight curve to that but at the same time they've used the admin bot and they've used in-game news for stuff more this month than they probably ever have so So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. But overall, I think the month, this month has been a good end to a bad arc. And I'm curious to see what everybody thinks about the mid patch update when it does roll out as well. I have to DM you on Discord if support replies again without understanding my treasury issue. Okay, Giga. What is your treasury issue? What is your treasury issue? How do we get the admin bot? What do you mean, Mom Troy? I don't understand. What do you mean? Obsidian Hamster is a top guy. He's helped a lot. Yeah, I've always had great work with him and enjoyed working with him the past few years. So much depends on if they get my usual amount of 400,000 free to play loot. Free to play loot is usually 350 to 400. It's varied, but you're probably not going to get that. But you can definitely grade based on that. So, Mom Troy, the admin notices go out to everybody. Those are put in the Galaxy chat, though. So, if you don't peruse Galaxy chat, you might not see them. You might not see them. I have 4,600 broken rods, 700 progress, treasure, but no exchange option. Recruit tab to open it free to play. So, basically, the treasury is just not working for you. Um, noted. Let me know what CS says. But, yeah, that has been a problem this month. There was just some reason that stopped working. So... Think we'll get shafted? Uh, I guess. I guess. And almost two thousand worth of desealing rods disappeared from my stock after last update. I I can't speak to that. I don't. I'm all I can say for that. Just put in a ticket. I don't know what could cause your desealing rods to just disappear. Gal Galaxy Chat has a cesspool of toxicity. I never look into it. Well, that's fine if you don't look into it, but they're still using the admin bot in there, which I think is a good thing. Regardless of whether you look into it, I still think it's good that they're doing that. So. I tend to not go into my Galaxy Chat too often either. And, yeah, apparently nobody's really been using Galaxy Chat today. So. Somebody, help, somebody asking for help in a wave. That's it. I ask for help on a way of defense. Ooh, traitor. Go get that. Nice, Peggle. Um, I can't say I'm going to do more of it, Peggle, for reasons that I'm not going to say on stream, but you can message me privately. But I did enjoy it. 
and it's nice to do every now and then. Submitted tickets still haven't heard anything back yet, and several people in my lines have the same thing happen to them. Okay, I mean, I have nothing I can say to that, Mad Hatter. Like, there's nothing I can really add. So, nothing I really am. Learn this month, my Klingons hate triples by dealing with triple vibe. Well, all Klingons hate triples. All Klingons hate triples. Real liking the Silent Hunter loop with the correct ship, it's not that bad, and the new artifacts are awesome. Well, again, it is based on, you know, you having the ability to participate in it. If you can, you like it. If you can't, you're probably not the biggest fan, you know? So I understand both sides of that issue. But uh, here we are. As you mentioned, Waze, what crews would you suggest for lower players in the 30s? Honestly, if you're a low player in the 30s, the only thing that you should be worried about is killing the traders. That's your one job. So it doesn't matter what crew you're bringing. If I allow like a level 34 in my wave, they have one job, kill the traders. That's it. You don't come touch anything else. You kill the traders. And you let everybody else handle all the other stuff. That's the job. That's the job. Yeah, speed crew as well. Nelson likes to... And, and honestly, if that's all they're doing, they shouldn't in theory need the speed crew. They should be fine. But yeah, that's your job. You kill the traitors. We handle the other stuff. That's all I need you to do. That's all I need you to do. All right, let's go back in here. So on the Q trials, do you uh, get the battleships done at level 39? How do you get them done? Well, I mean, it just depends on what ships and stuff you're using. Which Q trial are you on? Are you on one star, two star? Which ones are you on? If you're on two star, you're probably not going to be able to finish two star until you get a level 46 ship. Then you can probably do it. Comcast issues, all fine right now. All fine over here on my side. Everything's good over here. Hopefully it stays that way. What's just starting, Prey? Oh, you're just starting? Well, if you were at level 39, you should be able to beat the one-star Q trials. Just using your epic uh, that you get from 34. Oh, I need to go pull. Oh, five hours. Dang it. Five hours so I can do that. Okay. Five hours. My times are everywhere because sometimes I stream late at night. Sometimes I stream early and it throws off my refines and stuff. Throws off my refines and stuff. Poopy. All right, we always have to not make sure I don't forget it later tonight. I don't plan on streaming on a Sunday night, but with these timers, I might have to just remember to do my pulls. This arc has been a snooze, very low amounts, it feels. I don't feel like the uh, event amounts have been low, but I don't know if everybody's been able to contribute to the events. Like, I've got multiple events running today, not just because it's Sunday, which, by the way, Anomalous Phenomenon, if y'all haven't done it, go do your Anomalous Phenomenon my personal reminder to myself go do your anomalous phenomenon but like i've got the shamrock event i've got ticket events i haven't even looked at honestly I didn't even look at the ticket events and uh yeah a whole bunch of other stuff speaking of ticket events i should probably go look at that but it's a pretty busy sunday let's see what i want in my ticket event I hate grinding Eclipse, it's boring, domination, mining gas is easy, and I need the Tritanium. I mean, see, I need everything, though. What I really need, though, is all the ore. So what are the ore ones? That's Tritanium, I'll think about doing that one. How much time do I have? I still got two days on it. I have a surplus of tickets saved up, so that won't hurt too much. Kill hostiles, I'm already doing it, so I might as well get something for it. Level up officers, of course it's the level up officers one. And let me guess. Oh, it's not that one. It's this one. Domination, gain power. That one's going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Continue the grind. Supporters responded uh, again with an offer to manually exchange my rods for the rewards. That's awesome, Giga. That's what they should do. So shout out to the support for doing that. There's a reason they didn't put event store currency in the ticket events this arc. Uh, it just seems to me that they're moving or wanting to potentially move away from that in an effort to give. There's been a feedback push for a long time, and I'm not going to say that it hasn't because I don't want to make it sound like they're making an excuse. There has been a feedback push for a long time that one of the negatives to an event store month is that your currencies and your materials dry up significantly. 
so there was a feedback reason for changing but i think the majority prefer their event store currency so we'll see how they add event store currency we had a couple of conversations with them about this uh friday and definitely i pushed the point of needing to reach a certain amount for players to feel comfortable and for players to feel like they're getting a value for the amount of work that they're doing and we'll see how they find that balance but yeah i personally wouldn't use tickets during event store months because no materials see there's climber but then there we have a lot of the opposite that happens where a lot of pure free-to-play will actually save all of their tickets until this month so that they can do every ticket event possible to get as much event store currency as possible to catch up on the officers and the ships. And either path is a completely valid path, but it was done, you know, just kind of nobody really saw that happening or coming. Miles 55, you need tons of rare ore and don't neglect away team building. Oh, yeah, redstone. Look, look, look where mine's at. Look where mine's at. All right, repair. Go get this grind in. I've noticed my par levels going down a bit, but I've got the BP. Went to claim them all. Your par still levels? Well, yeah, I mean, you are going to get less this month, right? Because it's, most events are focused on the event store. You are going to get less this month. And that's been pretty normal since we started doing battle passes back in 2020. Can we get some new away team missions that pay some of the new materials? Certainly is worth bringing in or bringing up there again. Absolutely. Some of the testing that method, at least it's not just an oversight. Yeah, it. I, I think there's a mix of oversight because there was no communication. But they do have a reason to actually explore that. And it's not just, you know, for the hell of it. There are definitely players that you can see here. We got what, 400 people here, 350 people watching live. And I promise you, you start asking every single one of them, you're gonna find mixed opinions on whether event store currency or materials should be in those boxes. And I'm not saying either of them or either of those sides are right or wrong, but there's definitely not a cookie cutter answer to making everybody happy, that's for sure. Be interested in seeing cost comparison for ticket event rewards with a hundred dollar pack worth of tickets versus a monthly materials claim pack. Um, there's no cost comparison that could happen. I'm not sure what you're even asking for. It's not like Scope is going to tell us what each thing's worth. Should be both. And that's the thing, Bearsman. I don't think it can be both. One, you'd be asking them to set up instead of nine events, you'd be asking them to set up 18 events over three days, and that's that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. I just think they need to have better event structure that pay out event store currency. And if they don't want tickets to be that, they want to leave tickets as regular materials and stuff. That's fine. As long as you have maybe one event that is going to earn you currency through an AMS, through a leaderboard, through a regular SMS, IMSs, whatever to make up for that. Just separate them if you want them to be separate. I really hope my NXO one works on the new Zindi Armadas. What Zindi Armadas are you talking about, High Tone? There are no Zindi Armadas in the game. And it is should be reminded that the NX01 only works against aquatic hostiles anyway. So it'll have to be an aquatic Zindi host uh, Zindi Armada if that was gonna be a thing. Is it worth to continue scrapping two star ships at 39? If you want to, you know, collect extra uncommons, sure. I'm a big fan of ABS, always be scrapping. In fact, I have one right now, scrapping. I got an auger that's currently scrapping. iTunes says, come on, Rev, we all know they're coming. No, we all don't know they're all coming. I promise you, you've talked to all 400 people in this chat. No, they don't. No, they don't. Maybe add materials to the event store. See, there's already materials in the event store, Mom. It's a horrible exchange rate, though. You do not want to get materials from the event store is a horrible exchange rate absolutely abysmal but there are uh those already there for free play i use these events to get my hands on special ships first and officers that makes complete sense sorry uh, makes total sense i would tell you though 
Really look at getting Enterprise E data. He is big. Enterprise E data is big. Love the Enterprise E data. So. What tier does that ship actually get very good against Aquatics Indies? Tier 1, level 1. Like, the NX-01 comes out of the gate good against Aquatics. Out of the gate. You hope they don't add Zindi Armadas because people don't do Swarm Armadas and the loot is terrible. Huh? Fair enough logic. Really weird that they preview nothing but show Zindi Armadas and they never show up. Well, we've had them preview things before that never entered into the game. I mean, there's literally artwork of... Um, Mayweather and stuff. He's not an officer. So. You just never know a scope. You want a event store currency? You're uh, doing a ticket event sitting on 180 uh, tickets. See? One of the folks that saves up their tickets. And there's nothing wrong with either path of whichever you take. So. Is it a good idea to tear up Enterprise E data? I mean, the more you tear him, the better he's going to be. Yes. My Enterprise E data... Since there is a limit to 20 shards, that's not going to get me super far on my Enterprise E data because I need 134 to take him up, but I've already got mine to tier four. So I already focus really heavily on Enterprise E data. But if you can get him to tier two or get him close to tier two, yeah, that's definitely worth it. He is very, very valuable. Very, very valuable. I see G6 Armadas before others going on five months in the game now. Well, the climb here, I'll just say this climber. As much as I agree, G6 players need something. There's so few of y'all. It's tough for them to focus on that, but I do agree that they need to add some content for G6. But a hundred percent agree. You know, um, there could be stuff coming in the near future for y'all. Obviously I can't say, I will, I will say this. There is content that they're working on that's going to include G6 players. What it is, obviously I can't tell you. But that's why there's been so little for G6 players. There just aren't very many G6 players. So, they're trying to get everybody to level up the way there's more G5 and G6 players. So, you've gotten a lot of content that, at its core, a lot of this content does speed up the game for a lot of players if they're doing the content. Right, you know, the Bajoran faction definitely speeds up your uncommons. Voyager speeds up your ship parts. Texas speeds up your stuff. So, you have so many maxed officers. I don't know what to do. 143. Nice. There's nothing you need to do, Nate. Nothing you need to do. The the Ferengi whip needed to be in the event store. Yeah, that's definitely a hot take. The NX01 definitely more important than the Ferengi whip in the event store. And I love the Ferengi whip. But. You need to remortgage to go to 60. Honestly, going to 60 is not that expensive anymore. Going to 70 is the new expensive. I mean, when we get to about a year out of level, you know, the G6 rolling out, I mean, five stars are going to be pretty daggum relatively easy to, to get through. So, obviously, relative statement, but yeah, it, it's not going to be that bad. All right, we need to swap crews again. I need to get y'all off of here. Put y'all back on the main boat. Because this is actually, typically, our disco boat. This is typically our disco boat. Rush, what are you doing back there? All right, let's go do group. We're going to do anomalous phenomenon real quick. Saru, Stamets. There we go. Go do our anomalous phenomenon. Gotta get my speed ups. Gotta get my speed ups. Wrong ship. And then this one we will swap out and go do freebooters. You like the whip? But do you like the nene? Great question. Janeway Lorca 511 on uh, or Doctor for Silent? Yeah, that's that's good. If you're wanting to go more loot climber. Enterprise E Picard, Enterprise E Data 5 with you and BLT below decks. If you just want to go more loot, get as much loot as possible. All right, so I'm going to go group, get Enterprise E up here, get you up there. Well, I was actually going to keep Archer. 
or I'm sorry, Trip Tucker. Let's keep him up there. Not the best run. Actually, if I wanted to make it better, especially since we're going against freebooters here, I would actually just throw Janeway up there for more isolytic. More isolytic. Mo isolytic is mo better. And then let's we'll go up here and do our grind real quick. If I get Corvus to tier six, will I be able to take my cube up? Yes, you will, Dinky. Yes, you will. You got a go-go juice? I actually have to mine shrooms first. Oh, Aaron, I never run out of go-go juice because I use my go-go juice so sparingly. Like, I'm one of those weirdos who literally flies to the system to hit hostiles and then flies back and doesn't even use go-go juice. I save it up. I save it up. Save it on up. Go hit this one. Max fortification helps immensely. It does. Max fortification is big. And it's one of the, uh, one of the reasons that I tell people to invest in max fortification. Don't forget to you know do your basic daily with your Titan. And I'll acknowledge that I tend to be one of the people who forgets my Titan way too much. You can see I need stuff to upgrade parts here. It's only tier five. But the Titan and its research is pretty daggum valuable when you're trying to do all those things. Let me go ahead and do a basic one there. Squeeze it on in. Recall, that'll do a daily. And let's see, claim. Yeah, there's more of my stuff. I was using Disco for missions to jump between systems. And see my missions, I just send them out. I just fly them out there. Speaking of missions, like I was doing some with my Katinga. I've been doing my main storyline missions just so I can progress. And now I'm on this one, find the colony. But I finally unlocked the beta sector. I stopped being lazy. Now I've got the beta sector unlocked and I can come all through here and do nothing with it, but it's there. But that's just because I've been doing my missions, but I've just been kind of doing them kind of slow. Slow pacing them. My trigger gets aquatic battleships, cross fingers on left hand, and the bye bye cannon doesn't fire. Very nice, high tone. Very nice. Use Voyager Miles for below deck missions because it's so fast. Makes complete sense. Makes sense. It is definitely fast. All right, we'll go over here and start hitting these freebooters. I'm hoping I can get a Nova blueprint to drop, but the odds have not been in my favor lately. I've yet to have a Nova Blueprint drop. I really would love that. I've yet to have a Nova Blueprint drop. Just not uh, not going my way. Not going my way. What else y'all got? Bring in your questions. Why do you do the kills? You can do one jump and one summon. Oh, that's easy tattoo. Why do I do the kills? Because I don't waste go-go juice. I want to save up the juice for when I need it, whether it's PvP battles or whatever. I never want to run low on go-go juice. So that's why I manually go and do my, my uh, kills. Simple as that. And that's why I always have a surplus of juice because I never use it. I see that as a frivolous use for something that, you know, doesn't take long to grind. It's like, what, six hits? So instead of me summoning, I actually just go do the hits real quick. And then I get everything I need and I'm done. That's why I do it. It's one of the, you know, very few leftover, like, hyper-efficient actions that I still do. But if I wanted to summon something, that's why I have 393,000 summoning juice stored up. Because I only use it when I absolutely need to use it. And that way, I'm good to go for a while. Just start Oz 57 congrats, Elvin. Congratulations to you on that. That's cool. That's dope. We like that. We celebrate our wins with our friends. At the 15 bill faction rep, Brian Locke, would you continue with that rep or switch to another? I would uh, get another one up to 15. I'll get another one up to 15. So, so easy to use go-go juice. It is very easy to use your go-go juice. Dave, transport pattern officers get added in about twice a year, every six-ish months. Every six-ish months. They're only about twice a year, though. I go collect. Oop, I got several of these saved up. So let's go ahead and do some pulls. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I had so much of these saved. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. 
I have unlocked summoning. I don't use go-go juice anymore, so I'll save it to summon your ships. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Whatever works for you, right? Play styles are not, you know, there's not a singular great play style. There are many, many options to do here. Enterprise E data or disco? Oh, oh gosh. Between the two of those, I get Enterprise E data, but you definitely want to get your discovery. You absolutely want to get your discovery. You get that through Cosmic Cleanup on Saturdays. So definitely get your disco. But out of those options, Enterprise E data. Disco no longer useful? That's wrong. That's wrong. Meaty, maybe you are one of the few people who have super high leveled your way out of the disco and you didn't buy the prime to make the disco have extra warp range but for most people the disco is extremely valuable you could just be like level 66 and not care anymore but disco is very good for a lot of players is there anything besides artifacts and favors that count as research for power gain i mean research <laughs> no research but you got your section 31 favors your export favors your bajoran favors uh, artifacts all those count as research Every single one of those count as research. I think I'm done with anomalous phenomenon. Let's go take a look. Am I done? I am done. Okay. Recall. At mid fifties onwards, even, even then it is if you buy the prime, which I do agree. The prime is stupid. If you buy the prime, it goes on even further. Meaty hot dog. Not that I'm encouraging you to buy the prime. I would actually encourage you to not buy that prime. But if you buy the prime and it does extend the life of the disco or the usability of the disco you got no bps after i bought enough to get bill one fax credits the good news is lord iskaron you can't have too many novas there's actually no number of novas that's too many if you've got 20 novas that's okay don't spend in all of them but having as many novas as possible is a good thing it's a good thing a sign of vitality actually a sign of vitality All right, let's see. This goes sort of tricky because the tier up makes the refinery more efficient, right? It's not tricky at all. Upgrade the disco first. Disco first. Disco before research. Not tricky at all. This is basically the rule for all specialty ships. Upgrade the specialty ship first, max to the level that you can go, and then start dumping into refineries and stuff. That's just basic for everybody max the ship first then work on the favors and everything mops way have a uh, max e data should i go for enterprise e troy wow that's great for 28 no uh them um troy is not really going to help you much go for specialty ships you know if you don't have a stella get the stella if you have a stella get a second stella you know stuff like that especially ship it especially ship it up my friend This is the first event store that I don't have a spaceship. I need to buy BPs. Nice, Caleb. How you doing, Bricks? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Gosh, it makes me want to open the 15 boxes I'm staring at right now. Just seeing the name Bricks. Ugh. Need more time. I think I see what someone earlier mentioned where all the broken rods vanished. Yeah, all for that I'll say is tickets, right? I, I don't know anything about that issue. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. But Caleb, what are you going to get if you don't have a special ship to go after? What are you going to get if you don't have a special ship to go after? Cardassian projectile, yes or no? Hey, speaking of a Nova blueprint, right there, there's a Nova blueprint. Yeah, I'll take a free Nova blueprint. Um... Yeah, so what are you gonna go after? Just stop sleeping? Yeah, that's a great idea. I should probably do that, Justin. I should stop sleeping. I'm gonna unlock Neelix. So Neelix uh, will be, Neelix will be in the event store, I think next week. They weren't gonna have Enterprise E. Oh, we were gonna get home right in time. They weren't gonna have the Enterprise crew and the Voyager crew up at the same time, so. 
Yay, Nova Blueprint. Look at that. Look at that. Yay. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Yeah, well, I'm not going G5 for a while, Chris. But you are right. The G5 Armada chests are very valuable. G5 Armada chests are really good. But I won't be going G5 for a while. Like a Coolio? Well, now we know your government name. I'm going to get a simulated Stella skin. Hey, there you go, Caleb. That's useful. That's useful. I was 48, Mantis, sitting at T5 and haven't touched it in a very long time. Any reason to go back and upgrade it, spending the currency on setting it XP? Mantis. That is the reason to upgrade it. See, right there, your refinery is based on the tier of your Mantis. So yes, you do want to be upgrading your Mantis. You do want to upgrade your Mantis because your refinery improves for your Mantis tier. So. Sleep is for the week. Emily was playing War Thunder all night. Confirmed. So speaking of, I can upgrade one piece. One piece. I need a lot more parts to get to tier eight. But yes, you do want to upgrade your Mantis. Absolutely. Absolutely want to upgrade your Mantis. 48, you can be a T10 on the Mantis and make the acting loop like five minutes. You can. You you can. These are factual statements being made. They're factual statements being made. What is this? The facade? Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and speed that up. Let me go ahead and speed that up. It costs more to repair a ship that died. I mean, it's technically yes. But I mean, it, it's all, if you are at 1%, you, there's not like an extra cost for being completely blown up, if that's what you're asking. It just all works based on the percentage of how much hole you're repairing. Ah, all right. I'm gonna speed up a research. I am running out of speed ups. I am running out of speed ups. This push to 50 ate up all my speed ups. Son of a biscuit eater. Ate up all my speed ups. All right, let's see if I got anything in X4 to do. We do have these. Meh. Ooh, armory defenses. That could be useful. I forgot about that one. Oh, advanced hole. Yeah, there's where we're going. There's where we're going. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Your alliance list, and I don't know what happened. Wait, in STFC, Emily? How'd you get... Somebody kicked you from the alliance? In Star Trek Fleet Command. Were you not talking? Like, what, what did you do? What did you do? Wow, Emily. Emily over here getting kicked. You tell them that I'm offended that they kicked my friend. You say that you you tell them that you know Reb Deuce, and I'm offended. Northcutter Vorcha, obviously I'm going to choose the Vorcha. It, it's it's appalling that you feel like you would even need to ask that question. Of course I'm going to choose the Vorcha. Of course I'm going to choose the Vorcha. That's that's not even that shouldn't even be a debate. What 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 should I get? Obviously the Vorcha. Like come on. Come on. It's not even a question. You know what I'm going to say. Probably why she got kicked. Oh, wow, James. That's how it is. Just for you, James, we're going to go hunt OPC and token space. Just for you. Just for you, James. Oh, wow. Mysterious ship. I've got a not-so-mysterious Tribune coming for you. Look at that. I'd be I'd be very scared if that was this little glowing Voclus and there was a big Tribune coming my way. You, you should probably move. You should probably move. He's not moving. A meaty hot dog. There's no plans for a universal translator in this game. There are no plans for that. 
I am very confident that'll never happen. Should have done your Emerald Wonders event. Oh, does she not do that? Oh, well, that, that explains it. Chase a choice to get Vortra or Corvus. Any advantage of getting one of those? I mean, battleships are always going to be, you know, on paper, better grinders because they have better whole health stats. They're going to be better for your just everyday uses, and armadas and stuff like that. Their drawback is they're slow as crap. Even with research, they still feel slow as poop. So there are pros and cons to everything. How big is my Tribby? Uh, what, 60-ish billion, depending on what crew I have on it? 68 billion, I wish. 60 million? All right. How are you doing, Kishi? My Tribune is still smaller than my Pylum, but yeah, I was really hoping I could get my Tribune up this weekend, but I just, I, I couldn't earn enough uncommon ore. I was really, really, really hoping. I got one piece to tier seven, beyond 5,000 uncommon ore away. And that's by next weekend, I'll have it, but that's a lot of uncommon ore. But you give me a good another week in Bajor and all my other runs, I'll have it. Just don't have it yet. And then I've got this guy just wanting and screaming to go to tier 10, but uh, that's expensive and rares. How do we get that frame? What frame, Luna? The universal translation frame was the Hoshi thing, right? That was for doing Hoshi's events, wasn't it? Or am I misremembering? And of course, we don't have all the old events for me to be easy to see. Also, I've got to do... Do we have a TC today? I've got to do TC. I have barely done TC. I've barely done TC, and there's actually good rewards in that TC pass. I have done my wave defense, though. I am doing wave defense. From before Hoshi events? Okay, Zoltan, I remember what it was, so. Completed the Universal Translation event, but a frame was not awarded or offered. Okay, then it, I don't remember when it happened. Do I have the Universal Translator frame? Let's see, what's it look like? There's no way to search, so. Anything look like a universal translator? Anybody see a universal translator? Do I even have it? You don't have it? No one does? Does nobody have it? Looks like I'm, oh, it's this thing. Oh. Looks like a microwave. That's actually a, an app description. Oh, Silent Enemies SLB. Well, no wonder I don't have it. No wonder I don't have it. I think I came in fourth in the Silent Enemies grind. Well, then maybe I came outside of fourth and top five got it. But y'all know me and SLBs, I don't tend to, I don't tend to win those. I don't tend to win those. Let me check the event store for something real quick. Just because somebody's messaging me. Play in here. No. I'm looking for something. See if it's in the store. Special currencies, maybe. I don't really have them in here either. That's surprising. Okay.
All right, here we go. Lucky Shamrocks. Do I wait? I spent them now. I am. I already spent two on stream. You forgot about that event because of the brackets? Yeah. I just tend to ignore SLBs in general. I mean, the, the one where I got flocks here is pretty rare because I built a Tribune, right? I built a Tribune, took it to tier six, and I got second in my SLB. So I managed to get flocks. Are these actually paying me out Nova Blueprints this entire time? Because I feel like it keeps saying one, but am I actually getting Nova Blueprints? Uh, let's go take a look. Survey, scroll. Yeah, I've got four Nova Blueprints from doing these missions so far. Nice job, mission. Nice job, mission. They're just giving away Nova Blueprints. It's pretty dope. Oop, wrong, wrong system. Go here. Think you broke your game? What'd you do, Emily? What'd you do? But yeah, spend your lucky shamrocks. You're probably going to end up with bonuses or extra laying over just like all of us have over the years. How many players have got old shamrocks? Let's see what old uh, shamrocks we got in here. Are they in the other? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, there's my elite battle token from 2019. So what do we got in here? Let's see if I've got some old St. Paddy's Day stuff. I don't remember. I know that was from Discovery, but I don't remember what it was about. Like, that wasn't from St. Paddy's Day, was it? This is from the original series right here. Uh, Tribbles. Where is this our old St. Paddy's Day coin? Thanksgiving, the Tallandar sex. Oh, there's a St. Patrick's Day poke, uh, token right there. The St. Patrick's Day token. Don't remember what year this is from, but there we go. There's some St. Patrick's Day tokens. And all this stuff. My Intel Breeze from DS9. What else we got in here? This one, there's more than that. I feel like I'm missing some. I feel like I'm missing some. Look at all these currencies, man. Look at all these. This is crazy. All this currency. All right, anyway. The Lucky Shamrock. The Epic Luck Token. Yeah, I don't know when that one's from either. And of course, none of it's in like alphabetical order. But anyway, yeah, we got a lot of currencies in here that need to be cleaned out. Hopefully, if you're listening. Yeah, Clover coin is what they're called now. Clover coins. But yeah, I would go ahead and just go and dump anything you can. And maybe you'll get lucky and you'll get one of the full pull options of these big officers. All the rares are a full pull and the epics have a half. So. Hoarding old stuff is a problem with the game's lag and stability. Yes, that actually is a thing. Has the Feast of Salvage skin only been available once? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure just the one time. And this, oh gosh, absolutely not. Especially for a 5% weapons damage boost. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. I very much dislike how the Monovine resets uh, where you are searching in the inventory. have ever noticed anything about the monovine speaking of monovine though i do need to swap it out so that i can go start its grind i do need to swap it out so we're going to put the coronar here and then put monovine we'll send the monovine out start its grind do i need to can i upgrade the monovine no, nah, I've got a max for where I'm at. Okay. It's in the Monovine now. So you did three pulls. You got four Kim, two Paris. That's not terrible. Not limited Monovine. Any uh, AFK grinder will reset when it hits unless you keep your finger on the inventory while looking. Noted. Didn't even think about that, uh, Therakin. Spam tickets about available support. I did that for Armor Voyager. They finally made it available. Nice. 
Search bar in the officer tab would be nice. There needs to be a lot of different QOLs added just to make, you know, finding things in the game an easier process than it currently is. It is not an easy process. Even for somebody that knows where everything's at like I do. If he gets attacked, you're looking through the crystal for say G4 crystal. Well, I guess we can look at that in a second if we want to. I don't necessarily want to, but I mean, we could. We could. Let's go collect our packs. Oh, Bear's been buying packs, apparently. Cultivated my soup. Somebody had to buy some go-go juice. Somebody had to buy some go-go juice. Go here. Collect. Got Tendy Shard, Claim. Go and use as a as your reminder, ladies and gentlemen. Star Trek Fleet Command.com. Star Trek Fleet Command.com. Go claim your daily mission key. If you haven't already, go claim your daily mission key. Mine, let me see if I got a timer on mine. Nope, I can claim mine. Claim your daily mission key. Yep. Done. Claim your daily mission keys if you have not already, my friends. And I got another one. Okay. Done. All right. Really bugs me that I have all these. So I'm going to go ahead and collect. I will watch a recording when they are subtitles set into my language. Okay, Patrick. Feel free, man. Glad that you were here. I'm glad that you were here. Hope you're having an amazing day. By the way, if anybody wants to support the family, look, nothing is ever required, but everything is appreciated. There are the links. I want to give a shout out real quick to Mike. Mike did shoot some love my way. Appreciate you for donating $10 of the surgery fund. If y'all would like to help out, there's over 400 people here. If everybody was like Mike and donated, we could be real close to finishing this surgery goal we have for my wife. So appreciate all those who do choose to donate. Very, very kind of y'all. Really do appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. You're amazing. All right, we got to finish collecting these. It bugs me so much. I know some people have like 10,000 of these saved up. I really want to clear mine out. So, you know that guy? Really? Yeah, I know a guy named Mike too. I know several people named Michael. Very common name. Yeah, very common name. All right, let's see from any of these. Well, you just need to go ahead and max out 10 D. I could do that. Let's do that today. Let's do that today. I'm just going to spam this button real quick and read chat. Um, let's see what else we got. If I get it, if we get tax, you're looking at the inventory, say G4 crystal. Okay. We're talking about the mind thing again. We are getting close to our wrap up time. So if y'all have questions, now's the time to start shooting in your questions. As I spam pretendy shards, spamming pretendy shards. And nope, there's no SLB or anything. I'm just taking tendy up as high as I can take her. Ban for the rest of the month, spending money. Ooh, did you get in trouble with your spouse? Did your wife get really mad at you? Any obvious benefit of getting Ops 58? Not really. The benefit is your Ops 58. How you solve a problem like Maria? I don't know. It's worth getting the Monavines? Oh, it's worth getting one Monavine. I don't really see the need to get two unless you just want to really dominate those Texas solo armadas. All right. Open all. Yay. Okay. We went a little bit too far, but okay. Now we got Tindy. So now we go to upgradable. We scroll down to the queen herself. Where is the queen herself? Where? where Oh, there she is. Queen herself. I'm about to go Kapawi. There we go. There we go. And we'll wait on leveling her up for later. We'll wait to level her up for later. 
Is Tendy good? Yes. Tendy is one of the most valuable officers in that set. Hands down. Hands down. We love Tendy. Tendy is on. What ship is Tendy on? Where do I have Tendy? Is he on this one? Yep. He's on this one. That reminds me, we need to swap this around. Put a basic PvP crew on there. This needs to be our Tribune. So we got 60, 50, 60. Those are my uh my current three biggest ships. Yeah, the Monavine is huge in the 50s for resources. I'm waiting till 51, obviously, but yeah, huge. Absolutely fantastic. The most valuable officers in transport patterns are Tindy and 6 of 11. Tindy and 6 of 11. You can scroll all the way down here. 6 of 11 is huge. And then this is just for when you upgrade your holodeck building. But my 6 of 11 is still a long way from Max. I got him tier 4. And there's other officers in here that are also good. But, like, I should actually go ahead and unlock Broccoli. I've been sitting here and not unlocking Broccoli for a long time. I should just go ahead and unlock him. One of the few officers I don't have slash use. He was overtaking your Vorcha, and now live on your cube. I would still live on the Vorcha because I have honor, but whatever. You can do whatever you want to do. I have honor, though. I don't know if you are familiar with that concept, but I have honor. So I'm on my board job. Well, if I say broccoli, I am saying broccoli. Yeah, I am saying broccoli. Broccoli is very healthy. But the reason I'm getting broccoli is because I don't have broccoli. It's just for the sake of unlocking him. But he does give you more protected cargo below decks. All right. That was his nickname on the show, Broccoli. When you upgrade your hot deck to five, you get 17 free Enterprise E Davis shards. Yes, and when you upgrade to 10, you get Enterprise uh, Troy shards. If I remember right. It's set to where as you upgrade the holodeck every five levels, you will eventually get a full unlock of Enterprise E Data, and you'll get a full unlock of Enterprise E Troy, and you'll get half of Enterprise E Picard to the holodeck. Reference TNG episode where they were calling him broccoli. Elvin gets it. Yeah, he's another protected cargo boat. Nothing too like special or anything, just more protected cargo. All right, where defeat hostiles? Okay. I guess we need to do that. What I really should do is make this the Talios. And go do some Borg solos. Because it's been a minute since we've done our Borg solos. And I believe we can go out here. I don't want to jump to a 57s. Ah, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I die. That's the worst that can happen. We'll send these out there. Let me make sure we got burning below decks. We do have burning below decks. So we'll send you. And you've got not an armada crew. You need an armada crew. All right, group. There we go. And there we go. And now you are armada up. And we'll send you out. Let's rewatch Prodigy now that's on Netflix. There's some classic Star Trek episodes in there. I agree. Prodigy is good. If y'all haven't watched it, you should watch it. And uh, if you want your kids to get into Star Trek, 
Prodigy was created like you know for that preteen era of viewers. So that demographic you should definitely encourage your kids to check it out. Definitely encourage them to check it out. Let's check my season passes. What all are the rewards in here? Just out of curiosity. All right, so that's wave defense specific there. What about in Trailblazer? The territory. What's it got in here? Got more of those. All right. So what else we got? Chronoton particles. Oh, oh, TC season two has got a beautiful frame. And it's animated. There's no chance I get it, but oh my gosh. That's a gorgeous frame. I really have too many things I like in this game. That just are just silly. I like it. That is a beautiful frame. Really frustrates me that I'm not going to get that now. That is a gorgeous frame. All right, so we're all good here. All good here. I should go do wave defenses. I need to do those at some point today. Do more wave defenses. But yeah, and then should I start collecting this? I don't need it, but it looks cool. I really don't need it, but it looks cool. They don't give us the territory battle pass, no. They, Overlords do give us the regular battle pass. So all the official content creators will get this battle pass, the normal one, but we don't get all the other battle passes. Like we don't get the wave defense with the territory battle pass. We'd have to buy that. So yeah, I'd have to buy this. And it was $50. Nah, no, nah, thank you. Rev has a surgery to pay for, but they do give us the regular battle pass. Oh, wave defense is only 20 bucks. Still, everything I get goes to surgery. If y'all want to support the channel, or if y'all want to buy a battle pass, there are the links. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, none of it's required. But if y'all want to be generous, there you go. The plural of battle passes should be battle passai. Maybe. Sure. What surgery is that? She, she's having abdominal surgery. Abdominal surgery. Do 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 Alright, Ascension, we already got that. I'm not going up top 51 time soon. What is this one? Alliance of Shadows gives Latinum. I mean I need Latinum right now. Might as well go see what's over there. Let's take a uh ship that's got a little beef to it. Take the Voyager. We can kill any basic baddie that shows up. Would you spend Enterprise coins on Archer or getting one of the Enterprise E officers? If you don't have Enterprise E data, you should get Enterprise E data. Like, even if the, the limit's only 20, you should get that limit of 20. How's the knee? It's a little bit better than yesterday, Intimidator. It still hurts. Usually what happens is if I tweak my knee for about two or three days, I'm kind of like not really moving around well. And then it the swelling goes down and I'm fine. That's usually how it works. But yeah, get you that Enterprise E data. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you, Andre. It's good to see you. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Is the green ready button triggering anyone else? Oh. I have that saved for event reset. That's there for the event reset. Don't be triggered. It's there for the event reset. Thank you, Jockey. I appreciate you. But yeah, every dollar we get is going towards that. Shout out to Steve. Steve actually just contributed to the surgery fund. Thank you, Steve. That $20 is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you. For reals. For realsies. Thank you, Steve. What is that event reset? Oh, well, for those that don't have never noticed there's a daily I, you can't see it now because i've already completed it but there's a daily for upgrading a building so uh, just a real easy way to get that daily done every day 
is just to have like one of these low level ones sitting there. And then as soon as reset happens, click it, you built a building. It gives you that daily done, which gives you some speed ups and things like that. So I'll just have it sitting there until then. Yeah, you're welcome, Jennifer. Just an easy way to, you know, get all the dailies done that you can. You know, nothing too like crazy, nothing too fancy, just a little basic strap. With the event store currency being so light this month, is it worth investing into Enterprise E, Picard, and Data? Definitely Data. Picard's great to have, but Data's the key. Data's more the key. So, yes, absolutely on data. Absolutely on Enterprise E data. But anyway, Steve, that's why I have the green dot. That's why the green dot is there. Also, give a shout to Clayton. Clayton, thank you for donating $10 to the surgery fund. I greatly appreciate you, Clayton. Thank you very, very much. I try not to ask too often. I don't want to be one of those content creators who's always like, hey, give me money. I try to do about once in every hour or two. So appreciate those willing to do it. And if you have been entertained or if you've been informed and I've helped out, consider uh, helping out the channel. Thank you. Ice packs work on swelling. They do. They do. Picard is great for loot chasing. He is. I mean, he's definitely a great loot officer. But in the grand scheme of what's important, Enterprise E data is going to help you with a lot more just normal applications with hostile runs and stuff like that. So. Yeah. All of uh, your in-game purchases are tax deductible. Yeah, Daniel. Why do you think I wouldn't know that? Also, fun fact, just because something's tax deductible does not mean it's a one-to-one -one and you get, you know, $1 back on your taxes. That's not how that works. But yes, every I do several thousand dollars a year in tax deduction. But, one, you still got to have the money, and two... It's not like you're getting all of that back. Sure, you do want to write off as much as possible. But I have no need to buy anything in the game anyway. I mean, heck, just Scopely giving me the battle pass already has me level 50, so. Hey, what's up, Smashers? How you doing? How you doing, Smashers? Good to see you, my friend. All right, we'll get everybody in here, and then we'll do... Yeah, we're doing against these 57s. 56s. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Waiting on the Tribune and the Pylum, taking their sweet heckin' time to get here. Taking their sweet heckin' time. Kind of my parents received for tax season by hand. It was like $120,000. Wow, your, uh, your parents are quite wealthy. That's pretty awesome. Congrats. But that, that's some big monies. That's some big money. That's more than I'm making a year. Did you find the Ops 39 free play you needed? I have not found that yet. No. I've actually not found that yet. So the search goes on. The search goes on. Return to station. Of course, return to station. Such an annoying requirement. I'll go ahead and do it, though, because it's right there. All right, you come here, and then Tribune, just hurry yourself up. They both work full-time in an outfitting business and some rentals. Hey, that's great. Whatever's working for them. Awesome. I think that's fantastic. I think that's fantastic. Shout out to you and your family for making it. Shout out to you and your family for making it. I think that's great. All right, get this and then investigate. All right, anyway, where's the Tribune? Gosh, it's taking so long, y'all. You still struggling to do sign hostiles? Have you shot me a message, Ben? I'm still going through all my messages, so. Any word on partial unlock for NXO one? No, Steve, I have no word on that. No update that they're adding that in or anything, so. No update on that, my friend, I'm sorry. No update. Investigate the outpost. There we go. All right, Tribune has made it. Now we will launch this Borg as soon as all the pop-ups stop. Here we go. Get everybody in. It'll be fun. We'll watch this to go boom. They're awesome and workaholics. Hey, as long as they're enjoying what they're enjoying, I love it for them. 
as long as they're taking care of their kids i'm loving it sounds like a good setup and a good thing all right hurry up what is my phone buzzing for my phone is blowing up shout out to jack jack thank you jack also just sent ten dollars to help with the surgery thank you jack that's very kind of you i greatly appreciate it and i hope you're having an amazing day thank you jack that is super super really cool of you i appreciate it thank you thank you sincerely from the bottom of my ginger heart not my soul but my heart my ginger heart also emily we got to do our raid shadow legends more today i got to do more of mine so, oh somebody's hitting my miner oh no oh no i've been smacked jtk came and got me Sounds feel like they always build struggle at 39 they are they will yeah i mean a maxed enterprise can do it semi well but yeah it's definitely a struggle bus third outpost Ooh, it's a system i've never explored before all right so how do we do here we did beat the borg sphere and we didn't really take that much damage so not bad let's go do a rare let's go do a rare see what happens Tribune must have went real beast mode. Let's take a look at the battle log. I love battle logs. Went five rounds. There's my whole breach. There's my Neelix. I'm really looking on round two, though. Uh-oh. Where, where are my Neelix? Tribune, though, critical, 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 or two criticals. Three, what, four shots there? So there's, oh, it's three. My, my, no, it's four. My eyes are bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then we go down to seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's nice. And if we would have had burning, it would have been even better. Oh, there's Neelix burning. There's Neelix burning. But anyway, we're putting some massive damage with that Tribune. It, uh, it, it does really well. I am very happy with it in Armadas. I'm very happy with it on my just maximum enterprise yesterday. So hopefully today he gets a little bit better. Congrats, burnt pork. And remember, if you need help, join the discord as we will go over all those things with you. More than happy to go over all those things with you. So. It's ridiculous that the NX1 only works on aquatics. That has been asked, and we'll see if they end up adjusting that. We have definitely asked for them to make that adjustment. I don't know if I'm willing to pay for it, but is the treasury worth it value-wise? Always is. Yeah, the treasury is always worth it value-wise. It's just whether or not you need the things that it has. And that that's really the key. Does it have what you're looking for? But the treasury value is always 150% of a $100 pack. So by that, it's always valuable. It's just, do you need it at the time that you're looking at it? And, that, and to be honest, not everybody does. Maybe you don't like the Epic officers that are there. Maybe you, you don't need a station pack, which is what this one is based off of. If that's the case, then don't feel pressured to get it. Only get it if you need it. Only get it if you need it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. We've been an hour and a half. We're going to wrap this up. I don't know if we'll do a bonus stream tonight. If we do, I'll be honest, it'll be Baldur's Gate or War Thunder, but you're more than welcome to join in on that, especially if we're playing War Thunder. If nothing else, though, you can contact me on Facebook or Discord with any questions. I'm trying to get through some of those today. I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to start answering DMs. I love you. I appreciate you. Live long and plunder. Stay safe for their space, Cowboys. Deuces. That's me. Catch him on the next video, which is tomorrow. Two of them, actually. We're streaming tomorrow tonight on Twitch, and we got a video here tomorrow, and maybe, possibly, streaming tonight. But that's that's always a bonus, so we'll see if it actually happens. So, bye. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.